Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to change your cursor icon. Just before the video begins I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explore It in Properties are enabled. If Explore It in Properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explore It in Properties. So now that you've got Explore It in Properties, you want to head over to your starter GUI, click on the plus button, and insert a local script. Inside this local script, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, and then you want to bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. So now that you've inserted the code inside of the local script, you want to go and change RBX asset ID to whatever your asset ID is or your image ID is. So you want to go and change this ID here to whatever your image ID is. Now you're probably wondering, okay, I don't actually have an image ID that I would like to use. So what you can do, you can go over here, click on the base plate, then you want to click on toolbox, and then you can go over here in the toolbox and you can select models, yada yada yada, but for this tutorial we're choosing images because we are wanting to find us an image. Now we can go up here in the search and ideally search cursor image or cursor because some of the cursors and some of the images will not fit your actual cursor so you need to make sure that your image is actually quite small. As you guys can see here, here's an advanced dot cursor so we can actually select this one here. Then we want to click on the three dots and click copy asset ID. We then want to take that back to our script. We can close our toolbox for now. Change this ID to that ID that we just copied. Then we go up here, click on the X button, and then we can go click on play to go test it out. And now our cursor should be that small little dot. As you guys can see, we're in the base plate, and here is our cursor. I'm moving my mouse right now, and as you guys can see, my cursor is the small dot. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket in my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next video.